2013 Lexus RX came with some paint damage. In order to fix this, I'm going to try a $100 rattle can spray paint kit. Follow along if you'd like to see if this works. Lexus has in the driver's side door panel a sticker like this that includes the paint code. Google this paint code and you can find paint to match the exact color of your vehicle. Now I don't need the final result to be perfect. I just want it to look decent. Any paint shop I took this to wanted to repaint the entire panel at a much greater expense. I think this might do the job sufficiently well. Step number one is to use a good, sharp, clean razor blade to chip off any paint that's going to readily come off. A lot of paint came off when using the scraper. So step number two is to apply some water to this area and wet sand using some very fine 600 grit sandpaper. I'm gonna sand even some of the white parts where I'm going to try to blend the paint, new paint into the existing paint. What I'm doing here is just ensuring a really smooth surface for the paint to adhere to. Also removing any gloss on the existing paint that's going to potentially prevent the new paint from adhering over the old. I don't need to do any heavy sanding here because all I've exposed underneath the paint is this primer. My primer's in good shape already. There's no exposed bare metal or rust. With sanding complete, let's clean this area up. Applied tape and paper over the areas I do not want to paint. And down here I've done something a little bit different. I folded over the paper a little bit on the areas where I'm going to blend the new paint with the existing paint. I could have put a tape line right up here but that would have left a sharp edge where my new paint and my existing paint exist. This way I can blend a little bit better. I'll finish this area off and then begin with some of the rattle cans. Ready to begin spraying, we got three different cans here, a ground coat, mid coat, clear coat. We're gonna apply a few coats of each. These are applied about 10 minutes apart from one another with each coat and then clear coat, I have to wait 30 minutes for this one to dry before I apply some clear coat. But before all that, I'm going to spray some paint onto this test card to make sure I'm getting the right color match to the existing. With the color match card, it's a bit difficult to see what's going on, but yeah, the color's about right. We're gonna continue on to the next step. Let's clean out our tip a little bit, spray it on the ground. And here we go, we're gonna apply smooth, even, thin coats of paint. five coats of the ground coat. I'm now going to apply the mid coat and I noticed I am not Kimberly Dahlberg but it's all good. It's the right color paint. And I'll finish off with a few coats of clear coat, 10 minutes between each coat. And the new paint job in my opinion looks really good. The new paint doesn't look quite as shiny as the original but we're going to wet sand this, get rid of any slight orange peel. There's not much of a texture here at the moment. And then buff, we should be back to something similar to the glossiness of the existing paint. But wow, this turned out maybe even better than I thought. You can see the transition from the original paint to the new paint right in here. Maybe a coat of primer would have evened that out a little bit, but it, it looks great. I, I'm happy with this. This is turning out much better than I expected. While it already looks pretty decent, I'm going to use some 1500 grit sandpaper and wet sand this area to try to remove any unevenness in orange peel. surface now feels very smooth comparable to the original paint but to bring back that glossiness lost with the sanding I'll use some compound 
on a polisher with an orange pad. The final result, I'm quite happy with how this looks. It looks a whole lot better than bare primer. This wasn't meant to be perfect. It's a bit of an older vehicle. I just wanted it to look presentable and I think we accomplished just that. For around $120 all in on the paint meant to match the original Lexus paint and some supplies including the polishing pad you saw earlier. If I were to do this over again I might go ahead and apply the primer coat. Maybe that could have evened out this difference between the old paint and the new paint a bit more filling in that area. But I'm happy with this final result. Lessons learned for next time. One more thing, adding an additional speed to my buffer up from 600 to 1500 RPM and a bit more effort, I brought back more shine and glossiness to the new paint job.